Hey guys, it's Advanced Logic. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Uh, where we last left off, we got the wooden sword from the Hero's Cave and conveniently got 30 rupees for a shield. And in this episode, we're going to continue onward and uh, do crap. Whatever the fuck I feel like. Anyway, go here to the shop and now they have stuff here. Get the shield, buy it for 30 rupees, which you conveniently got in the Hero's Cave. Yeah. Showing off. There we go. Anyway, you gotta go up here. This is where the Malka Tree is. Malka Tree Gate. Show courage to gain passage. Alright. Flashing my dick. Alright, you go up here. And a wimpy ass tree. Sweet. Ugh. Who's that? Did you wake me? Who are you? You don't wanna know. Hmm, what? Dude was taken while I slept. There's no sign of the Temple of Seasons. What? Little Timmy's in the well? This is awful. Guarding the Oracle is my duty. And Timmy, too. Alas, now I've withered. Now I've withered. What's to be done, Link? With the seasons and chaos, the land is robbed of the very essence of nature, draining all my might. Can you save Din and my steed? It is all the mockery has ever asked. You owe me five dollars. I sense you on the northern peak where the Temple of Seasons rested. Onyx has cast a ca shadow on the northern peak. I think you will find him there. You'll need the eight essences of nature that lie sleeping in Holotrum. Gathering all eight is the only option. The essences possess the sacred power of nature with which you can break the shadow barrier and save Din. Shall I repeat my- Shall I repeat it? Nah, I'm good. I give you this key. Go to the giant root near the lake up north. The first essence should be there, but I expect some resistance. Be careful, I'll just, uh, I'll rest until- No energy. Lazy bitch, you got the Gnarled Key. And this gives you access to the first dungeon in the game, the Gnarled Root Dungeon. And you can cut this shit. Like, if it's ever fall and you find this stuff, this plugs up. Like, if there's any holes in the ground, this plugs them up. So you can just walk around. You could walk over them, but I think if you stand on them too long, then the holes get plugged up. Where the fuck did I start talking about holes? And you can cut the grass here for rupees and shit, but... Eh, nah. And wait time to continue onward. You can finally go through this stuff since you have a sword. How convenient. Use the st use the key on this. And you got access to the first dungeon. Level 1, Gnarled Root Dungeon. And I'm gonna try seeing how fast I can go through this without... I wanna see if I can get through this all in one part. Alright, you push that block, the top right block. Go into the right, kill all these enemies. Fuck, I got hit. I got hit again? What the fuck? I suck now. You grab the small key that drops once you kill all the enemies. Then you go back into this area and you go to the left because it's locked. It has a lock on it. You use the key on it. Kill all the enemies just like you did in the first room. The derp. God damn it. There we go. A heart. It's a dungeon map. Press select to see it. And if you try to play... I don't know. If you try playing this on Visual Boy Advance, there's like some kind of glitch with the map and yeah if you stay staring at it too long then it glitches up on you and you have to reset it which fucking sucks so I'm not gonna try using the map as much as possible even if I do I'm just gonna do a quick glance you push oh wait forgot you have to you have to kill all the enemies on in this area then push this block it opens that door you go left here you don't really need to do this but it helps you give an item so if I remember correctly, it's a Gasha Seed. And it is. You got a Gasha Seed. Yeah. When you go back out here. Motherfucker. Then you go up these stairs. You go right. Hit the switch. Oh, damn. I forgot. That's where I got the compass. You found the compass. Use it to track your position. Lowest gate chest and find keys. Indeed. Like... If you find a key, if a key is hidden somewhere in one of the rooms, it gives you this beeping sound. I think you'll probably hear it in the next room, or something like that. Oh, wait, not this room, I remember. It's in the next, this next area right here. That noise right there. You go over here, try avoiding the keys. Yes, that's what they're called, I don't know why they're called that. Don't question them. You got a small key. Yeah. 
Damn, I'm already five into. I'm already five minutes into this. Son of a poor. Then you go right here. Remember the chest you saw earlier passing by? Well, yeah. Gives you a good weapon. You got ten bombs, bitch. We're getting all terrorist up in this. Why the fuck did I just say that? Anyway, you equip the bombs, preferably on a button that's not on the that's not the sword. And you can just keep them on there. Shit, you don't really need the shield. A good thirty rupees well spent. Anyway, you go through here, let that thing pass by. You can't destroy it by normal means, as far as I remember. You cut through here. And I've watched this one right here. It goes really fucking fast. And it'll catch you off guard if you don't know it's there. And mini boss time! Roar! You cannot pass! Oh, I, I will, bitch. Alright. You just keep slashing at them. Nothing really special about these guys. There we go. And they already brought- they brought me down to one heart. Anyway, when they die, they give- Anytime you fight a boss or a mini-boss, they give you, like, something that'll recover health, so... Like, in mini-bosses cases, they give you fairies. So, with the boss, they always give you a heart container, as you should know with any Zelda game. You go here, you got a seed satchel, and it has 20 ember seeds. Alright. Oh, anyway, you have to go back out here, which is pretty fucking tedious because I want to try getting through this as fast as possible. Ah, uh, bam. Anyway, this is a portal that'll take you to wherever it shows up in the level, so it takes you back to this area, which is pretty fucking convenient. Yeah. And you see these little things, you pull out your ember seeds, light these up, and they open the door. And you have to kill all the enemies in here. Which just sucks, because they have, like, fucking ranged weapons, and you have to use your seat shield and shit. I guess you could use your bombs, but that's that seems like a waste. And you get the boss key in this area, and I almost fell in that hole! Damn, I got, like, three minutes to get through this, and God damn it, died. There we go. I don't know why I just grabbed that. I have, like, three hearts. I'm doing nothing but complaining. Oh, and that room in the top, if you go up, it just gives you an old man that gives you hints in the game. I think you just like these up. Yeah, you don't have to fight those guys. And here are Floor Masters, which, if you guys know Chucka Conroy, these are, like, his worst fear. As are mine, because I fucking hate Floor Masters. I still remember seeing them when I first played Ocarina of Time. You get a ring there. Like, the first time... Playing Ocarina at a time, those things always scared the ever loving shit out of me. Ever loving shit out of me. Alright, you go up here. And a throwback to the first Zelda game. Just keep slashing at the unit at the horn and you'll be fine. Hey, he shoots fire and he rams at you and all that crap. And easiest dungeon ever. I beat this in under. Jeez. Barely a second part, and I already beat the first dungeon. You got the fertile soil, and in essence of nature, seeds scattered across bountiful lands are nourished in this fertile soil. <laughs> fertile. <laughs> Innuendos. Am I tripping balls again? Ugh, fucking tired. I really should go to sleep right now. Ah, oh, it's me, the Maku Tree. Some of the fertile soil has come to me, too. I already feel stronger. Oh, and in my dreams, I saw the Temple of Seasons in a strange land that I do not know. There I saw a precious item that will aid you, Link. That is all I can see now. Oh, no. Does it really have to do that shit at the end? And because you killed so many enemies in one area, so this is where you find Maple, the witch bitch, as I like to call her. If you run into her, all your shit starts flying around. Ow, ow, ow! Watch where you're going. Just You just hit Maple, the Great Witch Syrup's apprentice. Thanks to you, all the stuff fell out of my bag. The Great Witch will be mad. I can't find any long, long eggs, and now this. I'll just take the stuff you dropped, too. Finders keepers. Oh, hell nah, bitch. No shit. <laughs> if you manage to get more stuff than her, she'll just be like, Ah, you! You. I 
and there's some pretty cool areas in here too. Shh, don't tell. Like if you find these dudes, they'll either give you money like this dude right here, he gave me a hundred, or they'll take away money and they'll be all like, oh shit, you just ruined my door. Motherfucker, I'm gonna take some money from you now. Anyway, this is where you find some, there's some soft oil, you can plant the gosh seeds you just got here. Or you could have just gotten out of the area and just planted it, and then went back into the dungeon. It would probably would have been grown by then. Anyway, let's go check the Gosha seed, seed that we planted in the first part. All right, Gosha nut. A ring was inside. Oh my God! Yay! No shit. All right, let's grab this. Now you, now you can have access to this piece of heart, which is probably the only, the first piece of heart you can ever get in the game. Burning trees. Anyway, I'm going to stop it here, so next time on Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, I'm going to continue on to the next place, so see you guys in ah!